Hi everyone, welcome to the Witching Hour. My name is Michelle and I'm a witch. This is your daily reading for September 20th, 2018. Hope everyone is well. I am using Sacred Circle Tarot by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason. And also I am using Witch's Wisdom Oracle Cards by Barbara Michael John Free and Flavia Kate Peters, illustrated by Richard Crooks. Let's see, what are the energies in store for us today? Uh, why am I feeling that things are good? Things are in fact good, but we feel I feel like a little bit of apprehension in the air. A little confusion, a little discombobulation. No worries. That's all I want to say. The energies I'm picking up on. Let's see our first card. First card is Queen of Swords, Imagination. See? It's all in your head. You are a clear visionary. You are a clear visionary. I think, I feel that um, there's a sense of, oh, I used to have my head on straight and I used to know what I want. I used to know all these wonderful things and it feels like maybe you're you're feeling like you've lost that clarity of vision, but you have not. I think it just needs to rest and sit for a while. Um, something needs to be renewed or something needs to be added is what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. That spirit has more to offer in the way of showing you something, revealing something more like add more to the mix next card is the warrior card number eight that's the card of strength so there's no lion in this picture like in the traditional tarot and the woman is still female and every time i see this card i think of that song i am the warrior I think the inner strength you're going to need, first of all, spirit has given you the inner strength that you need, but sometimes you don't have to wield it in the same way that you think you do. Sometimes waiting requires strength, sometimes letting go requires more strength than pushing forward. It requires self-restraint, and I think that's what it's calling for opposition two of swords see and there are the thoughts again it's kind of like you're of, you're in two minds of something you're of two minds about something the bottom of the deck four of wands development yeah of seeing things come to fruition seeing things occur seeing things transpire and i i think there's maybe a conflict going on mentally or in, in the thought processes of what we're manifesting and and seeing the results of those things, seeing them come to fruition. And I just feel that their, you know, um, spirit is saying practice, just practice some self-restraint and letting go, easing up, like releasing the worry, releasing the term, mental turmoil are the words I'm getting. Oh, don't fret, don't worry. I think by the end of the day, you're gonna have clarity. That's what I'm feeling. Not even tomorrow, but today. I think you're gonna feel more of a relief by the end of the day. I do. So I'm looking at the witch's wisdom cards. I'm shuffling them now. Oh, no, one more, one more. Shuffle that once more. Let's see then. deck just recently got some sage to clear up my environment and boy it kind of makes it's giving me mental fog before it's clearing me up and maybe I'm being reminded to say that to you because you know that saying it, it gets worse before it gets better sometimes maybe clearing your mind requires experiencing mental fog in the process for some reason like it kicks up dust 
creates mental fog when what we're trying to do is clear our minds. The card for Witch's Wisdom is clearance. <laughs> okay. So that's what's going on. It's kicking up dust. Wow. Let's see what's on underneath. Protection. Yeah. I think you feel vulnerable and you don't need to be. You all already are protected. I do see salt, you know, the salt circle, but I'm seeing it in the more literal sense, like, okay, you have it. You have it in your possession. You have protection. You have the reassurance, the, you have the reassurance that your dreams are protected and that's what you need to be reminded of today. Your dreams are protected. No matter what has changed over the course of time from back when you used to feel clear about it until now, no matter what's transpired, I'm gonna use my, these are my soul to soul cards now. Um, no matter what's happened from then until now, your dreams still are protected even though you, your brain feels foggy. That's what I'm getting. Even though your brain feels foggy, don't let that lend itself to feeling insecure or create any insecurity in you. Just need to clear, just need to wait for the dust to settle today. That's all you have to do, and that might be where the where the challenge lies, is in allowing the dust, dust to settle in the mental confusion and anxiety that's created by uncertainty. Just let it be, because it's just, for, it's just today, and it will pass. It will pass, and don't let it, don't allow it. Okay, this flipped over here. Don't allow it to create self-doubt. It's like I feel like my my thought my words were interrupted by the card flipping over and it's almost like that's literally what spirit is saying interrupt those thoughts of self-doubt like stop yourself when you start to think that okay and just say nope 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 it doesn't matter how I feel that thought is not true don't believe everything you think here is the card that flipped over is the card of the lighthouse. I did some journey work and experienced going, astrally going to this lighthouse. Saw it clear as bell, clear as day. You know, real experience and journey work that I had and found out later, I Googled the Im images of lighthouses to try and see if this place existed because in my journey work, it was really real. And I mean really real. And I found it. It's there. It's in uh, Pemaquid Point, Maine. And it's called Pemaquid Point Lighthouse. I was there. And the whole purpose for that journey there was spirit letting me know that I am in fact connected to spirit, no matter what it feels like. So I mean, this card is a really good affirmation for the messages that are coming. It's about a clear connection to spirit. You do have it regardless of how you feel. You are the light in that lighthouse. There are people out there who can help you. There, there is hope. Hope is real. Love is real. Uh, life, the goodness of life is real. It's really real. The connection you have with spirit is real. The connection you have with yourself is real. Um, and it's accessible. It's accessible. You can reach this. You don't have to climb to great heights to re reach this accessibility to spirit. Um, this is a very short lighthouse. It's small as lighthouses go. And I think that's significant in this message. You don't have to reach these great heights. It's um, heaven will meet you where you are. Heaven will meet you where you are and stop worrying about reaching heaven. Heaven will reach you where you are. Have faith in that and relax because it doesn't require effort on our part. That's the thing. Heaven helps us and it doesn't require that kind of effort we think that it requires. 
It just requires us being ourselves and believing what spirit tells us about ourselves, even though that's a little hard to believe sometimes, but it's true. I'm going to read to you out of the book for the Witch's Wisdom Oracle Card of Clearance. I just felt like to do that. I think it's spirit saying it's important. The broomstick. The besom. For all you witches out there. Here we go. The broomstick. Clearance. Okay, which is wisdom, which is foresight, and the broomstick revealed. Stale energies are preventing you from receiving and moving forward. Time for a spring clean or a fall clean. Only keep around you that which makes you feel positive. I feel that there's some significance there. Only keep around you that which makes you feel positive even the physical objects, especially in your environment. Meditate and pray to clear your mind, clean up your act, purify your thoughts and actions. Spirit is doing this for you. This is the spirit card, and this is about spirit doing the work in you. So let yourself be intuitively guided to do the things that you need to do. Don't try and think about what you should be doing. Let let your intuition lead the way. You do have your light on. You are connected. And if you look closely, they're telling me to show you. Up here at the top, if you can see it, is a tiny little antenna. But what that really is, is a lightning rod. Okay? And it grounds the energy. You are connected. I heard one reader call it... Um, call your antenna and our connection to spirit uh, angel radio like when it and I I was like that's my lighthouse that's I'm it's angel radio know that you're being intuitively guided and just let spirit guide you in clearing out those things okay don't do it with your mental processes the broomstick or besom is a magical tool used to sweep away negative energy from the ritual space before sweeping in positive energy. Placed up right at the front of the door or by the hearth, it protects those who live within the home. And we got the card of protection. The clearing out of the energies today is very important. That's what gives you the protection. And protecting ourselves from our own thoughts, negative thoughts about ourselves. Used in hand fasting, the couple holds hands and jumps over the broomstick, bestowing fertility, and it will help you. Do it to give yourself peace of mind, though, not just so that you'll function better. Do it for yourself, because out of self-love. You are in urgent need to make room for the energies you are calling upon to take their rightful place. You wonder why your spell work is dimmed, why all you have asked for is not yet made manifest, has not yet been made manifest. The answer is that the stench of clutter surrounds you. <laughs> I didn't write this, okay? It's time for a clearance, for magic needs space in order to be birthed, and sacred space begins in your mind. That's the first sacred space you need. Clear your mind by clearing your environment. Okay, so be gone, so be gone, and get rid of all that you no longer need that is not aligned with who you are today. Your dreams are still aligned with you, but the other clutter is not aligned with you today. Clean up, sort out the trash, donate to charity, rearrange furniture, and create some sacred space that you can work, feel peace, and connect in. Call upon trusted, on a trusted friend, call upon trusted friend Broomstick to move Wittershins 
that's counterclockwise, as it sweeps away the unnecessary contents of your mind, removing the constant internal chatter that has prevented your clarity to hear the voice of spirit, one with the old, out with the old, and in with the new. That's the way the witches do. <laughs> so it confirms everything. It does confirm everything. Make sure you just apply your inner rest your self-restraint in trying to force something to happen today. Just focus on clearing things out. And the more you clear out physical objects or rearrange them, sweep, burn white sage, like I have done, and let that clear your mind. The space, clearing the space will clear your mind, and then you'll be up and running again. So I hope you liked that reading. I hope you enjoy your day. And I hope you enjoy doing the work of clearing the space sacred sp and creating sacred space for yourself without doing uh, much effort and that you do it for yourself out of a sense of self-love. I will see you again tomorrow, everyone. Until then, much, much love from my soul to yours and brightest blessings. Bye-bye.